What's up, Internet? Nerdlocker.com here with this week's comic book reviews. And I'm starting off with the long-anticipated, twice or once moved back, Forever Evil number seven! Uh, this has been a great series. Um, this, this sets up for a lot, which is really cool for a DC book, because I feel like that's usually Marvel's thing. And that's kind of why their stuff got played out. But you do get an ending to this story with a couple little tiny loose ends with other characters and a big setup for the future. There's not really anything big going on right now. If you would like to see the next chapter, though, check out Justice League 30. That's, uh, I'm also reviewing that. But this is great. We, uh, we kind of see what, uh, what the plans are for Dick Grayson now that everyone knows who he is and what's going on. We get to see what happens to each member of the remaining syndicate, which is cool. I like that um, some of them are still around. I'm not going to say what happens to everyone individually, but some of them are still around. Some of them are other places. Some of them just things happen. I'm not going to be a spoiler guy right now, but it's really cool what they set up for. I'm stoked for the DC Universe, which is something I didn't think I'd be saying because I still kind of miss the classic Justice Society and all the things about the comics that I grew up with, but they really have some awesome things uh, planned in the DC Universe. This book is really cool. We really get to see Lex Luthor do things that um, just, you've always like known he's kind of this person, but you really get to see him in this, and I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, that's, I, I'm, that's all I'm going to say without giving anything away. I, I, this was a good ending to a good first event for this universe, the New 52 universe. I loved it. I'm giving it five out of five nerd skulls. Let me know what you guys thought.